Hello, YouTube. This is Connor Malayson from Con4 Tutorial uh, in the Dark Basic Professional and with another Dark Basic Professional tutorial. And I have to make an apology to you guys. Uh, I have set my screen recording program to hide the cursor, and I didn't mean to do that. So you haven't seen my cursor in the past tutorials. But now I have shown it, as you can see. So uh, let's create a new project. And um, today I'm going to teach you how what uh, how to use the input command. Uh, many things say many help files and stuff say that it's seldom used, but I'm going to be using it a lot in this tutorial. So let's make a comment. REM the input program uh, and let's uh, just type in input input uh, and it's optional you can do quotation marks uh, let's say what is your name and then do a semicolon uh, and then Type in a variable name. We'll make it name a string variable. So name dollar sign comma. And then center and uh, type in print quotation marks. That is a cool name. And then wait key. So let's run our program. And then, so I just typed in Connor for what is your name. And uh, it said that is a cool name. And I'll press any key to exit. Okay, so there was a problem with that. You may have noticed it, you may have not. Uh, after it said, what is your name, and I started typing in, there was no space in between the question mark and me typing and my name. So let's, so a way to fix this is in the input command on the quotation marks, at the end, in between the quotation, last quotation mark and the question mark, press the space button. Let's run the program. So what is your name? Connor. And see there's a space there? Right there. Before there was no space at all. And I'll press enter. That is a cool name. And cast program. Okay. So I have just created a... Uh, I'm going to explain to you what this program did. This program got the input command um, said what is your name, and then it was going to put what you, it puts what you said into a variable. It puts whatever you typed in into a variable, which and the variable is name s or name dollar sign. Um, and then we don't actually need that comma there. Uh, that is a cool name. Wait key. Uh, you know what these print commands and wait key commands do. Print, print text on the screen, wait key, wait for a key, and program. Um, pretty simple stuff so far. And, uh, let's add some more comments. And you can also add a comment between here. Okay, so there is a way, um, there is something wrong with this program, another thing. Um, it's not like something that's technically wrong, it's just something that really isn't good. 
you, we got input from the user and it put it into name, into the name variable. But the thing is, we never used that variable. Uh, we just said that is a cool name. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to, uh, I'm, I'm going to improve this, uh, this program. And uh, I hope you are there to see it. Goodbye.